This is the Schmo with the Pro with the former Strike Force and UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Misha Tate 2.0. Just weighed in UFC Vegas 31. How are we doing? I'm doing excellent. I was the first athlete here today. I was very prepared. Um, and for the first time, this was not the fight before the fight. A lot of fighters, you know, it's making weight is the fight before the fight. It used to be for me too, but not this time because um, I will have nothing that's slowing my momentum down. So I wanted to be very focused and very prepared, and it was. Has it sunken in that you are the first female USC star to retire and then return? Has that sunken in yet? Oh, no, you just brought that to my attention, actually. I didn't know that. But, yes. yeah, that's very cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, your opponent, Marion, she's kind of got one foot in, one foot out of the door of retirement. We know that this is her final fight. When you fought Raquel Pennington at MSG, you retired shortly after that. Do you think you have a psychological advantage being in those shoes before, knowing that someone you're fighting has one foot in and one foot out? You know what? I know I'm in the best place that I can be. So I, I can't speak to where she is at. I assume that she's in the best place and she's exactly where she wants to be, right? She knows what she wants. She's planning her retirement. She's got nothing left to save for. She said that she has always wanted to fight me. So, you know, my coach, Jimmy Gifford, put it great. Like, this is her Super Bowl, right? This is the fight. This is the close. This is the ending. This is everything that she wanted. And you gotta think, right, when you know what you want, you're going to have a uh, a path to that victory, right? Or a path to, well, you know, to what you want, right? So I assume that she's coming with a great mindset. She's healthy and she knows what she wants. And I, and I believe also she's having her son in the corner and I think it's for the first time. So that's going to add power. You know, she's definitely going to have a lot of momentum and positive energy coming into this. And I welcome that. I hope she does because I truly know that the best Marion Renault that shows up will, will allow for the, the, the best Misha Tate too. You know, I need a good dance partner in there. The Schmo's seen the physical transformation over the past few months. You are yoked out of your mind. 135 pounds exactly on the scale. How did this weigh-in day feel compared to the last time you're doing this, let's say, almost five years ago? Championship weight, championship mindset. You know, I did not have a hard cut at all. It was very easy. We were smiling and laughing through the whole thing. It was nothing out of the norm. Um, I feel great. Uh, numbers don't lie, right? Uh, Got to give a huge sh shout out to Sam Calavita because he um, took my body and, and made it into science and math and... I've never felt more confident. You know, there's no guessing in, in how to do this the best way. Like, I know how to do it the best way. And so I was here. I was on weight. Um, 8 a.m. was when the doors open. You know, first one here. I'm ready to go. That garage is no joke. Sam's got it going on. Final message for the cupcake fans out there worldwide. It's Tate 2.0. I am just evolved as a person, not just as a fighter. And I, I know that's going to translate into the octagon uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, Saturday. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm happy I've made weight. It's only one more sleep. One more sleep. She's the pro. I'm the schmo here at the Apex. We're out.